company's fixed income portfolio comprises of three bonds whose market value, par value, coupon rates and durations are given in the following table. So for bond 1, the market value of the bond is 6 lakh dollars. For bond 2, it is 14 lakh 40 thousand dollars. And for bond 3, it is 3 lakh 60 thousand dollars. Similarly, the par value, the coupon rate and as well as the individual duration of these bonds are given. Now we have to find the duration of the given portfolio. So the duration of a portfolio is nothing but the weighted average of the duration of the bonds constituting it. So it is equal to W1 D1 plus W2 D2 plus W3 D3. Where, w, where W1, W2, W3 are the weights and are, that are based on the proportional market value of the bond. So in this case, the sum of the market value of all the three bonds is equal to 6 lakh dollars plus 14 lakh 40 thousand dollars plus 3 lakh 60 thousand dollars that is equal to 24 lakh dollars. So the weight W1 corresponding to the first bond is equal to 6 lakh divided by 24 lakh that is equal to 0 0.25. W2 is equal to market value for the bond 2 divided by the cumulative market value for the entire portfolio. So it is equal to 0 0.6 and similarly W3 is equal to market value for bond 3 that is 3 lakh 60 thousand dollars divided by the cumulative market value for the entire portfolio which is equal to 0 0.15 and hence putting the value of the duration D1, D2, D3 and using W1, W2, W3 we get the duration of the entire portfolio to be equal to 0 0.25 into 6.2 plus 0 0.6 into 8.1 plus 0 0.15 into 2.9 which is equal to 6.85 so the correct option is option A that the portfolio's duration is closest to 6.85 so through this question we learned that the weighted that the weighted or the weights for the calculation of the duration of the entire portfolio is based on the market value of the bonds. It is not dependent on either the par value, the coupon rate or the or the, or the par value or the coupon rate. And second thing, this approach that the weight that the duration of a portfolio is the weighted average of the duration of the bonds constituting it, it is based on the idea that the there is parallel shift in the yield curve which means that all the maturities the yield corresponding to all the maturities increases by the same amount so this is the assumption based on which the the above or the, or the given formulation has been made for non parallel shift in the yield curve where the longer duration where the yield corresponding to longer terms to maturity increases more than yield corresponding to small smaller maturity so in that case this formula for the calculation of duration of the portfolio of bonds will not hold true so it is good only when there is a parallel shift in the yield curve or it has been assumed that there is a parallel shift in the yield curve 